Good morning guys. I had a question on one of my last videos about figuring how much outside air goes into a house on a load calculation. And it's actually pretty simple. We're just going to go over it real quick and I'm going to use a real simple drawing to do so. What we'll have is just a square. This is going to represent our structure and I'm going to kind of make a three-dimensional square because what we're dealing with here is volume. Okay, we have our three-dimensional square. Let's say this side is 10, this side is 10, and our side over here, so here, here, and our depth is also 10 so it's a cube and this could be anything you know your house might be 40 by 20 but what how we're gonna figure out how much outside air we need is by figuring out the volume of the space so we need to know the square footage which is going to be the footprint of the house let's say from here to here and here to here we're gonna multiply those out since we know this is 10 we know that 10 times 10 equals 100 so this room is 100 square feet. Pretty simple stuff. Then we have to figure out the ceiling height. For this particular room, it's also 10 foot. So that's how we figure up our volume. Length, width, times height is our volume of a cube. So we're going to multiply that by 10, and we now have 1,000. So we have a total of a thousand. Let me move this down just slightly so you can see it. We have a total of a thousand. That's our volume for this room. So that's our footage cubed. Our square footage will be our footage squared, and this is our footage cubed. So once we have that volume measurement, how we figure up how much outside air this room requires is we divide whatever our volume is by a hundred. So we're dividing this by a hundred and what we're going to get is 10. The number you get at the end of that equation is CFM. So for a thousand cubic foot room we divide by a hundred we have 10 CFM and that's what we need for outside air. That's what we're going to factor in as far as our load calculation. Every room has infiltration. It's going to vary somewhat. This is a general purpose rule that I use during my load calculations. That gives you a basic idea of what's going to be infiltrating as far as outside air. The issue is this could definitely vary, but a lot of times you do load calculations on houses that are being built. So the final construction quality is somewhat in the air. You have basic building codes that people have to follow, but the craftsmanship of the actual builder is going to be the deciding factor on exactly how much air is going to infiltrate this house. What windows did you choose? How well is the house built? All that good stuff. This is how I figure up for load calculation. So if we had a house that was, let's say a house was 10,000 cubic feet. So we add a zero onto that. Let's say it's 10,000 cubic feet, then we'd have 100 CFM. And then we'll go into, on the next step, how to figure up the load of this outside air as it enters the house. Because, you know, picture it in the summertime, this outside air is going to be, as far as in my area, the southeastern United States, it's going to be moisture-laden hot air. Then the wintertime, it can still be moisture-laden, but it's going to be very cold air it's going to be a stark contrast to what you have inside. So it's going to, especially in the summertime, present a heavy load on both the sensible side and the latent side. So we'll go into that soon. Just wanted to go over this real quick because I had a question about it. This is outside air. How to figure it up on a load calculation.